and welcome back. Hope you're all doing great. I'm really excited to share with you the painting today. This painting, I named this as Harvest because these are the vegetables that I harvested from my organic homegrown garden. So I composed them and I painted this in acrylics. I wanted to um, share with you. Today's video is a detailed video on how I achieved aubergine and the chili in acrylics on canvas. Hope this would be a helpful video. Pick a subject. Here I picked aubergine from my garden and also this green chili. And I wanted to put this canvas behind so when I take the picture it is complete white and it's not distracted with other uh, objects. Think about placements. Balance positive and negative space so either you go uh, closer and take the picture or take one more object. It's called rule of odds. I just want to take these two objects. I'm thinking of taking this sized canvas. This is 10, 10 by 8. I have decided on this picture. So what I did was I sent the picture to my email and printed in black and white on this paper. The canvas I have is 10 by 8. So if you divide it by half, it's going to be 5 by 4. So this is 5 by 4 measurement. And when I put the image on here, it's going to be bigger just like that in this frame it has fitted in in this frame uh, going to fit in there so now with this one i'm going to do grid so now i'm going to grid this with this ruler i'm going to take one inch squares two three four five same way here one two three four so I'm going to join these two lines. If you take one inch of measurements for five by four um, paper, you need to take two inches measurement for 10 by eight canvas. And here also I'm going to take one inch measurements, one, two, three. I'm going to join these two. When you compose, you can do the still life painting as well, but I want to show you as a beginner, I want to show you this method so you are not scared or if you are worried that it won't come nicely, this is the best way to do. So now I got my one inch grid. This is 10 inches. I'm going to take two inches. Two, four, two. I'm going to join these two. Okay, on the canvas, instead of using a pencil, I prefer to use wine charcoal. This is soft wine charcoal and it comes in sticks like that. This is really amazing. So as you, I'll show you why it is amazing. I have drawn my circle and you can wipe this off like so. A pencil, it won't go, it sticks. That's why I'm using this. If you don't have this, you can use pencil too. This measurement is eight. So I'm going to take two inches again. One. This is the grid. By the grid, you're able to see what's going on. Like, you know, this part of the aubergine is going here. And then you just have to take the shape accordingly with the base of the grid so that your image won't go um, crooked there will be errors it's okay you can always adjust this is just a rough sketch proportion this is the easiest way all my paintings except still life I do like this
Now I'm going to erase the grid. Make sure your underlying painting, like you know, the rough sketch is not gone. I'm going to take this brush. This is Filbert. It, it, it looks like that. And the colors I'm using are lamp black, crimson red. Um, I don't have ultramarine blue. Uh, that's why I'm using cobalt blue. If you have ultramarine blue, try for ultramarine blue to get purples. Um, titanium white, lemon yellow, and this green. And of course water. This is to wash brushes. And this is to mix color so that if you use uh, the same water for washing and mixing, then this water gets murky and you won't get the true color. That's the reason. I always lay my colors from darks to lighters, black, green, crimson, red. Uh, they're categorized into warm and cool colors. So warm colors are mostly like darker shades and cool, cool colors, they go to the lighter shades. So it's up to you how you arrange, but I, I would like to, I'm used to arranging like that. That's why I'm arranging it. And my background, because this aubergine is purple color and this is green color. So I think it, it would be useful if I have yellows. Let's see how it turns out. So I'm, guess, I'm first going to do the background. I'm taking green. I'm mixing with yellow. So it comes to this color. Maybe a little bit of red. I think this should be okay. I would like to go this side as well so that it looks even. Acrylics dry faster, so make sure it's blended properly before you go on to other color. You can always change it once this is dried. You can always change the color. Don't drop the brushes like that. This will spoil the brush. So gently go like just like that. That's why I recommend you to try these if you're starting as a beginner and you have never painted on the canvas, then try the starter kits. We usually get starter kits like with different shapes of brushes and also paints as well, different shades of paints. And generally we don't need so many colors to achieve something. Say for example here I'm using five colors, sixth color here as a background. So I'm trying to mix them and blending them to get different colors. So just try to explore. As you explore, you will find colors and you will know what the color palette does and also you can save a fortune on buying all the colors now this is dried and these colors right now I'm not going to use them as I'm trying to do black and white version of this painting so I'm going to take this plastic bag or the block bag and then just place the plastic sheet on the top and just press it down like that so that it's not the colors are not dried and I'll come back to them later now I'm going to use just black and white these two colors for the black and white version. This is my reference image. I'm now painting the aubergine in black and white. It looks a little bit of white mixed. So I'm going to take this blend. More white.
if you can't differentiate the color just try to pinch your eyes and you'll be able to see what's happening I'm trying to pinch my eyes to see that is a little bit of white here as we paint everything makes sense and then again it's coming to black just blend in blend blend always try to blend so that there are no sharp edges for blending I use different brush so these ones these these needs to be blended right at the same time before the paint dries so it's just kind of going over it over the line like that So that it doesn't appear sharp i'm doing this one it looks like a crescent moon semicircle one so i'm just going to i'm going to do the same here and then it blends here again we need to blend this in so that it doesn't appear sharp lines and again it's going darker here here just that bit Then there's darker going on here there's lighter shade going on here here oh as the shape goes because aubergine shape is like that and also when you look at the real aubergine the, the lines go circular way so if you do your brush strokes like that then you will get that bulging i'm going in circular motions so I bring that bulging texture on a two-dimensional surface. If I go horizontal like that, then it looks like it's flat. The strokes of the brushes matter a lot. And blend again. And here it's much darker shade. there's a lot of white here so before it dries totally I kind of go over it this is highlight so for for you to achieve highlights you need to let the paint dry and then once it is dried you just go there and then blend So the, look at the shape here it goes like that and there's a slight dip here and it vanishes here and then we need to blend so i'm going to blend these two just bring the line the sharp line into the other surface other color So it's 
looks like it's blending then once this is dry again go with the brighter white because this is much brighter than this just gently blend again And again we need to blend but I am doing only first coat so don't go in depth um, roughly if we get the values right then after we put the color on it makes sense and we need to blend this Look at the shape of this one. I'm trying to copy that. And slightly here. And slightly here. No? With more white. I'll blend this. shape of this it looks like a triangle right so I'm going to do that here now it attaches to here Now that we have our values on this one so I would let it dry we'll move on to this chili once this is done I would let it dry before I go on to the colors
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग बाय